So here's just a couple of case studies. I drove past this the other day with Arthur. We were working last Saturday. Oh, no, yeah, last, was, yeah, last Saturday, and we had a little look at this one. So Wells Road. This is on a very busy street in Bristol. It's, it's a pretty okay street, if anyone knows Bristol, but it's nothing special, to be quite honest. It's not a super posh area. It's a beautiful house, actually. It's like a, it's like a stately southern bell of a house. You know, it feels like you're in southern a a America. Um, purchase price, 265 it, this actually has a tough story attached to it. It was purchased as a, as a buy to sell with an investor as a joint venture. Um, and that investor, because uh, I always tell you all the bumps as well, um, but bought it and then turned around and went, but I don't have any money to do the refurb, so you'll have to pay for the refurb. And I went, eh? No, that's not our agreement on, on, the, uh, on, on the joint venture. So we had quite a difficult time getting that resolved. And I said, well, that's not, that's not a joint venture. You're supposed to pay the refurb. You knew that in advance. So um, it's interesting to me that you're telling me on the day of purchase that you don't have the money for the refurb. Um, that's not great planning and it's not a, a relationship I'm going to continue with. So I ended up, so although it's technically bought for 265, I ended up buying it from him as a buy to keep at the point when I, as usual, didn't have any money because I don't, I've never agreed to buy a house when I've actually had the money. And I actually paid him the stamp duty as well, which stuck in my throat a little bit because his mistake cost me the stamp duty. But hey, do you know what? Sometimes move on. So um, although it was 265 originally, I then bought it from him for 265 plus whatever the stamp duty was. And I think it was about 13,000. So, so sometimes you have to compromise with investors that are slightly screwing you and saying, do you know what, I'm just going to suck that up and get on with it because we need to find a way out of this problem because otherwise he sat there on brid with bridging and saying he can't pay for the refurb. You know, stalemate, not fun. 64 refurb, now that's expensive and that's because, oh, whoops, sorry, that's because the whole front of the house had dry rot, which we didn't know until we started refurbing because there's a little pipe just here and it had been dripping into the front of this house for God knows how many years. And it was like, oh, darn, you know. So we just had to redo a whole bunch of dry rot up the entire part of the house. Guys, it's part of property. Shake your shoulders. Darn it. And I did, um, it's actually a very, very big house. This is the house that has my highest room, which when we started off, uh, was renting out for £850. Five rooms in that house. £850. You can rent a one-bed flat in Bristol for 695 So someone's pay paying 850 Now, because obviously it's on its second and third round of tenants, it's down at 825 because it's not immaculate. But nonetheless, it's a very high-yielding property. End value to 475 And this is exactly right. So rent income, costs and mortgage. Um, uh, bills are 375 because we have a cap. We do £75 fair bills per person. And we have just sent out our letters to all our tenants that say, now that it's becoming autumnal, please remember to not put the heating on and open the windows. And be aware that we check the, uh, the uh, 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 meter readings every single month and that you will be paying anything over and above the fair usage. So it's just a little friendly reminder. Uh, so that's why I know my bills are 375. And then I set aside 10% repairs and I think you should always automatically set aside 10% repairs. So my gross monthly profit, which frankly is going to be very close to my net, is over a £1,000. It's fine, isn't it? But look at the difference between the purchase price and the end value. Um, so that's the kind, and I've got loads of those, that's the kind of thing we're going to be talking about today.